Hello, I'm Bradley, and welcome to my channel. First thing to start, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but it would really help me out and where I'm trying to get my channel to be. Okay, so a lot of my subscribers will know that I really love to review uh, hair products, particularly for fine hair. Um, I've got a huge interest and a passion around trying to help achieve and grow the most healthiest head of hair and looking after that scalp environment and having the most optimum uh, hair growth through good scalp and hair care practices. So I'm always on the lookout for products which can help us grow thicker, fuller hair, can hopefully combat hair thinning, hair loss. Um, and today I'm going to be talking to you about something a little bit different. If you've got fine textured hair, whether you're a man or a woman, one of the best things to be able to boost and utilize the hair what you have and make it look to be quite honest, really, really cool and really amazing, is the right haircut. So a couple of weeks ago, I decided to have a little bit of a change in my hair. And I've had quite a bit cut because if it would have been straightened, um, it would probably have been about to here. Um, and I was looking for, and it was all one length, I was looking for a bit of life and vitality. So I was looking for a little bit of uh, texture put into it. Um, and it sort of not necessarily cut into and not the traditional layering which some men and women have with longer length hair. Now, with fine hair, a lot of people will be quite cautious when I mention the word cutting into. But I think sometimes what we have to do is not shy away from cutting fine hair, particularly thin hair and, of course, thinning hair. Because for a man, it can look really super, super cool and smart and really cool. And for a lady, it can still look really, really glamorous and really, really beautiful. You just have to take your time with the right uh, tricks and the right products and the right tips. Um, if you can hear some whistling in the background, that's my parent. I do apologize. Bless him. <laughs> um, so yeah, so never ever shy away from having a haircut, but you have to get that communication with the hairdresser right. I picked Tony and Guy, the regular um, lady who'd been cutting my hair for many, many years, um, has gone actually away to do, uh, away for some traveling, I understand. Um, so she's not been around and I'm actually probably going to be moving from there now and trying to find somewhere else to look after my hair. And that is just because the... <sighs> It's so easy for someone who's been cutting your hair just to get used to, um, used to yourself, used to your hair, and then you end up with never really nothing changing. And every time I've, I've tried to raise this, I always end up coming out with the same sort of look. Um, now I don't want my hair cut. As I said, I wanted a bit more life, a bit of injection of energy. So a bit of a movement to my hair. So I picked Tony and Guy, um, which here in the UK, if you're not aware of that, it's, I would say more the top end sort of premium line hairdressers, hair salon, sort of looking after your hair, both for men and women and children. Um, and they're usually fantastic. I've had a few experiences with them before. I will say that I have found them to, they're very artisan, very um, sort of creative. I don't know why he's whistling like that, I do apologise. It's very creative with, um, they're very, not him. He is very creative, bless him, but he's, Honestly, let's just keep going. Um, so the turning guy, they're very into sort of creative cuts and basically you name it, they can achieve it for you. And they have a line of all different hair care. Um, and they use label M in the uh, hairdressers as well. And they really do give you a fantastic experience. And I had the consultation first of all. You call, you go through to like a central line booking number, um, and they book you the appointment for my local Tony and Guy. I walked in, um, and I had the consultation. I was very pleased with that. Um, then they wash your hair, um, and then you, you, uh, and the way they wash your hair, it's sort of you're raised up with your legs out straightened, and you have this body massage and in your back, and it's lovely. It really is a lovely experience. And they use top products throughout your hair and everything, and it's great. It really is a real, a real, really quite special experience actually um, and they're all very polite very professional um, and in the consultation I said I wanted I still wanted my length because I wear it slicked back for uh, work um, in my nature of my job which is in finance I do a lot of meetings a lot of presenting information um, so I have to be smart professional all the time and I know long hair on a man can be professional but for me my preference is back slicked back with gel and like the 1910s 1920s inspired looks so I wanted to still be able to do that, but I wanted some life and energy cut into my hair. So had that done, um, it was very nice. It was styled not particularly how I wanted to. The lady used a diffuser, and I've never ever used a diffuser in my life at all. Um, and it was really quite, I think she tried to concentrate on sort of giving me different texture in my hair. Um, however, I walked out with it actually being quite frizzy. It didn't actually suit me at all. And I really, really wasn't. 
amazed. I really liked the cut, and as it was being dried off, I really liked that sort of flow and the energy and the separation of what she'd cut into my hair. So moving on, a couple of days later, I was styling my hair fine, back for, uh, for work, slick back, fine, not a problem. It wasn't until the weekend where I went out for lunch with my mum, and um, I caught a glimpse of myself at the table. I thought, well, what's that? It looks like there's a straight piece of hair just cut. And I didn't think no more of it. I had some uh, from the family, my brothers and things, said it looked really cool, looked really good. Um, but however, my greatest and most honest answer, my mum said, not so sure, Bradley, perhaps you want to have a look, perhaps, perhaps straighten it through and have a look at the back. And I was actually quite disappointed to think that it just looked like it was cut straight um, and literally quite like that in the back. And I wasn't very pleased with it and it looked very choppy and you could see, I want to say layering, but I didn't ask for layering. I asked for a little bit of texture put into my hair. Wow, he's noisy. I do apologise. Um, so I tried what I'd done then uh, a couple of days later is I straightened it. It might have been the next day, actually, is I straightened it. And I was I was quite horrified, actually. Um, I thought to myself, I'm never going to go there again. Never going to sort of um, just just no, just absolutely no. And then anyway, I've been getting really, really annoyed. And um, it was actually for my mum's birthday, part of my mum's birthday gift. I actually uh, I pay. I'd done some research. And my mum was looking for a new style for her hair. She has very long hair. Um, and it's always very, very glamorous. But my mum wasn't particularly happy when... Uh, my mum's a very glamorous lady. And she wasn't particularly happy with her last experience where she's been going. And um, so I thought for a part of her birthday gift, I'd find a real top place in my local area, which I did. And um, the reviews were absolutely incredible. And I actually... Um, we, we, went, we had lunch, first of all, and then we went there. And then I said to my mum, I'd meet her a bit later. And honestly, even myself, the experience of walking into that place, they looked after me incredibly well. And I was only just visiting. They offered if I wanted coffee. I did. How it was served. Absolutely incredible. They looked after my mum. Absolutely incredible. Bearing in mind, she's had major surgery this year. So sometimes bending in um, in a hairdressing, uh, in a hair salon chair isn't great for having sort of a surgery in the abdominal lower regions. Um so, but she's doing incredibly well now, and uh, thank you for a lot of my subscribers who have asked how my mum is, and she's doing amazing. Um, but anyway, they just absolutely sport her. Her hair afterwards, when I, um, I stopped by again to meet her after her appointment, was, and I waited a little bit, and that's when I had the coffee and seen the experience myself in the product range they offer there. Um, and I was just stunned, absolutely, like, honestly, a Hollywood experience. Like, you'd think that it would be celebrities. It was just amazing. And my mum came out, she felt on top of the world, and her hair, just like her, was stunningly glamorous. So I thought, great. I thought, as a man, I still want the same effect of making me feel good. I want my hair to look edgy, cool, and just making me feel how I want to feel. Um, and my haircut was not doing that. So I gave it a couple of days again. And um, and some time's actually passed now. It's actually been a couple of weeks since I had a cut. And I thought, you know what, I'll think about it, I'll think about it. With my old hairdresser, I tried to get um, an appointment there, and that was a no. And I thought, right, okay, fair enough. So then I thought, you know what, I'm going to go back to the person who cut my hair originally. And I've just actually, about an hour or so, come back from there, um, my local town. And, um, and yeah, I, I went in and I said I wanted my sides cut. Um, and actually, I wasn't particularly very happy with how my hair had been cut into. And she said, not a problem. And she said, I'm very pleased that you came back to me, uh, Bradley. And she was very sorry and that she would wash uh, my hair through again. Same experience. So we had the massage again, which was absolutely, absolutely lovely. Uh, used all the products again, the top products again, um, and then dried and straightened my hair. And she seen. And she not bless her. She was actually horrified. Um, I thought that was really great for her to see that. Um, it was quite a surprise because she was very senior. And I thought, wow, but she took her time and she just has made it so much more, how can I put it, exactly how I wanted it, to be quite honest with you. It is a bit thinner at the ends now, but it's got texture, it's got life. Um, and I wouldn't necessarily wear it like this. A lot of my subscribers and people who know of me from my channel will know I do a lot with my hair to make it look more. But I have got fine textured hair. And as you can see on here, um, I've got quite a lot of fine hair, but as you'll see here, it's just given an injection of life rather than it being very one sort of where you can see here now that it actually separates out and it's got some life, it's got some character, it's got some vitality. So 
I'm really, really liking it. And I wore it through um, town today when I was uh, looking around for some things. And um, I mean here, because I've... But I mean, even this at the end here, quite undone, quite really, really nice. And bear in mind, it is very, very hot out today. It's nearly, I've just got my Alexa in front of me and it is 30 degrees. And my hair was quite frizzy with the heat, um, but I just passed a brush for it when I got back. Um, and now it's really, really nice. Really like that. Whether or not I'd wear it so straight, I'm not too sure. Um, but it's an option. And I often, thank you. <laughs> I keep doing that. Um, I do like my hair like this, particularly if it's a little bit colder and for work. Um, I like it sort of with a blazer like jacket and like a polo neck jumper. And my hair like this, just where it kicks off my shoulders now, where it's growing. I really, really like that look and it's really cool. Um, but for me today, it is very, very hot. The only thing I would say about my Tony Go experience, as much as the lady who cut my hair resolved it, and the coffee was amazing, they served in this cafetiere and the tray and it absolutely lovely and the massage was lovely and really professional. Do you know what? For the prices they charge, my original haircut was £40, pounds, um, and it would have been a bit more. Um, however, it wasn't, and I have paid more in the past in there, and closer up to £50. Um, it was lovely, but it was, I mean, it's 30 degrees out today. My appointment was at half past 10, and it was about 28 degrees. Um, excuse me, just one moment. I'll be right back. And we are back. So that was just my twin brother um, just letting him in. <laughs> um, yeah, absolutely. So really cool. Um, so what we were saying is, uh, so in regards, the only thing I wasn't so keen on in my experience in Tony and Guy in my local town centre was uh, the heat of the actual hairdressers. It was absolutely that hot, almost to the point a couple of times it did make me feel a bit lightheaded, especially with a cape on, especially with them uh, drying my hair as well. Um, yeah, so that's the only thing I would say. For such a superior brand, for such an experience they offer, Perhaps investing in a little bit of air conditioning would just make that experience a bit more five star as well. But ultimately, um, hair wise, really cool, really liking it. As you see, I like it cut into. And what I would say to anybody with fine hair is don't be put off by thinking that you've got fine hair. Perhaps you've got thinning hair. Perhaps you've got very fine hair. Please remember that you are you. There is only one of you in this world and your hair just finishes things off for you. It doesn't change the incredible person you are. And fine hair should still be cut. It should still be looked after. Thinning hair should still be cut, still be looked after, whether you're a man or a woman. It can still look super, super cool, super incredible, and for a lady, super beautiful and glamorous. So please don't be put off. And if you aren't happy with your experience, tell the person who's cut your hair because nine times out of 10, they will want to know, they will want to make you feel on top of the world. They will want to give you a great experience. And that's what I've learned from my experience here. If you're not happy with something about your hair, whether it be if you've had it colored, highlighted, whatever, trimmed, tell them because they will want to know and it will make you feel a hundred times better. Okay, so I really hope that you've enjoyed hearing about my Tony and Guy experience. Um, and it was, on the whole, a really, really good experience. And I will certainly be going back again. And I've booked my appointment for three weeks time just to have my sides done. Okay, so I hope you found that interesting. If you do have any questions at all for me, please leave them down below. And um, if there is anything else at all you want to ask me, please do so. I will always come back to you. If it takes a little while, I am pretty busy at the moment, but I will always reply. And I will try to reply as quickly as I can. Okay, thank you very much for joining me. And until next time, it's been an absolute pleasure to share this with you. Until next time, take great care. God bless. And I'll be seeing you then. Bye for now.